What's up everybody, Jeremy Weiss here with Weiss Tech Hockey and uh, in this video I wanted to show you guys the actual color-coded breakouts that we used with my team uh, as a kid growing up. Now this video coincides with our philosophy video on uh, teaching systems to young hockey players. So if you haven't watched that yet, go watch that. That'll kind of give you some insight on where we're coming from, what we're talking about here and, uh, and why, why we'd, we would want to color code breakouts in the first place. And uh, after you've watched that, come on back and uh, take a look. So here's what we've got. Let's pull up the rink here. And uh, basically, we've got a number of different options. All of them have colors. So we are going to assume that our, uh, our defenseman has the puck in the corner. And I'm not going to get into a whole lot of just uh, you know positioning on where the other team is and all this stuff. I'm just going to basically lay out the options for you. Um, then we'll have, so we'll have the right defenseman in the corner with the puck. We'll have the right winger somewhere providing some for a sort of, I did that again, keep laying down pucks instead of uh, players here. Uh, right winger providing some sort of um, coverage on that uh, point man. And then we'll have our centerman in the middle. And uh, he'll be shadowing in the, in the regular play, he'll be shadowing the defenseman and then swinging through the middle as the play progresses. Um, but for this, we're just showing basic options here. Uh, and then we'll have our left winger in the slot. This is based off our sagging zone coverage that we've already talked about. And our left defenseman. Okay, so our first two options are a green and a yellow breakout. Or sorry, a green and a white breakout. Green and white. Okay, and here's what the green and white look like. Both of them begin with the defenseman skating towards the quiet zone and then misdirecting. Okay. And uh, the green breakout will be a misdirection to a board side breakout, okay? And there are a few different ways that you'll structure this. Uh, you may have your winger from coming from the top down or swinging from the bottom up. We talked about that in another video. Let's just say for the sake of this demonstration that he's coming from the top down. Um, so that is your green breakout. Very simple, very straightforward. Misdirection, hit the strong side winger. Okay, so misdirection to a board side breakout, that's your green. Uh, the white is almost the same, except you're going to hit your centerman. So misdirect to a middle breakout, that's your white. Okay, so green and white, very simple, misdirect, and then hit either the board side for the green or the middle centerman for the white. So that's your first option. Let's take some of these lines out of here. Now let's talk about variations on the green and white. So everything we do from here is just basically going to be a variation on the green and the white. So let's say that uh, the pressure comes in, and you may or may not want to watch our video on initiating the breakout. Um, that will kind of give you some insights on you know what the quiet zone is and what some different uh, forechecking pressures that you may see are. But let's say that the forechecking pressure comes from behind. So the defenseman has started towards the quiet zone. He's being pressured directly from behind, and so he will skate the puck from one side of the ice to the other. So anytime that you skate the puck behind the net as a defenseman, that is called a yellow. So from there you can do a yellow to green, which would be the board side breakout, or yellow to white. And obviously in this case, we're gonna have our, our winger swinging into position. Uh, if you're going, we'll just keep with the same example. If he's going from top down, then that will look something like that. Uh, and then the centerman, like I said before, will be shadowing and presenting himself as an option in the middle uh, as that defenseman comes through. So you can go um, a straight green, which is misdirection, and then to the boards, a straight white, misdirection to the middle, uh, and then a yellow green or a yellow white. Uh, and then we have one more option, which uh, is almost the same as the yellow, but not quite. It's the D to D pass. So in certain, certain scenarios, certain forechecking pressure, um, you may or may not have a situation where, you know, maybe the, the back of the net is being cut off by forechecking pressure coming in this way, and he's also being chased from behind, so some sort of aggressive 2-1-2. Um, that's easy to beat with a D to D pass. So I usually like to do a little bank pass off the boards to our D to D pass. In fact, I should just put this here so that it's the... Uh, the same, uh, I'm just gonna alter this line a little bit, perfect. So that we don't have to redraw our passing lines. Um, so yeah, so this defenseman will just drop down, we call that a blue. So you can do a blue to green or a blue to white. 
So all in all, you have a bunch of different options. You got a straight green, straight white, yellow to green, yellow to white, or blue to green, blue to white. And uh, that's the color-coded breakout system.